Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. So, so for those that have been following the whole Mark Leda situation, I wanted to give you guys an update. Tanea, or Tania, I believe that's how she goes by, did a video regarding her child, Nova. Nova is the 13-year-old girl that Mark Leda interviewed on Soft White Underbelly. Uh, myself and other creators have been very vocal about just the disgusting way that Mark had approached this interview, um, distasteful. And, you know, we have been, people have said a lot about what's been going on. And so I wanted to address this here because uh, Tania made a video. All right. Let's talk about what Tania is saying here, because allegedly she starts by saying that Mark Leda did not have any consent to interview her daughter. Hey, y'all, real quick, I want to address something. My name is Tania, and I did a soft white underbelly video. It went viral, and it kind of went viral because a lot of people didn't know that that was my get down. Like, that's what I did, and, you know, like, that I went through those things in my life. So, meanwhile, in that time, my daughter was 13 years old, and she was running away at the time, and she is a chronic runaway. So, while being ran away, she started to see my video circulate, and she decided that she wanted to get a video done herself. So, she then got into the arms of Mark, and that is crazy because my intuition was already saying, like, my daughter is going to want to do this because I was seeing, you know, the patterns of her and what she was doing and just running away and all of that stuff. And she ended up on Figueroa Street. So everybody knows that my daughter was prostituting. Nobody likes it. I don't like it. The Internet hates it. We all think that it's so creepy that Mark decided to interview her and without my consent. So people are thinking, like, how is the video out? FYI, disclaimer, I was not there. I was not present when my daughter did the video. So since we know that, we could go to the next thing. So remember my let me slow this down a little bit. Um, she's saying, you know, she wasn't there. She didn't know. Um, it sounds like she's getting a lot of pushback and a lot of people upset on the Internet because she basically didn't really interject to what her daughter was doing with soft white underbelly. Let me know your thoughts in the comments, OK? Intuition was itching, like, let me just let Mark know not to interview her because I had called him one time just out the blue. And I was like, yeah, Mark, you know, I'm looking for extra money. Da, da, da. I wasn't per se asking him for money, but I was just like asking, like, do you know any opportunities? Like, you know, like you do film, like I do too. Like, what's up? So I was just networking. And um, he was like, oh, I hear that your daughter is on the street. Um, if you want extra money, go find her so I can interview her. So I was like, you want me to recruit my own daughter? Like, die, creep. This is already bad enough that she's ran away. So if I find her, I'm not going to bring her to you. So I was like, and you better not interview her. So that's why. So let me slow it down a little bit, because if I heard her correctly, she said, let's go back a little bit. OK, my extra money, go find her so I can interview her. So I was like, because. I had called him one time just out the blue and I was like, yeah, Mark, you know, I'm looking for extra money. Da, da, da. I wasn't per se asking him. People are thinking like, how is the video out? FYI, disclaimer, I was not there. I was not present when my daughter did the video. So mm -hmm. since we know that, we could go to the next thing. So remember, my intuition was itching like, let me just let Mark know not to interview her because I had called him one time just out the blue and I was like, yeah, Mark, you know, I'm looking for extra money. Da, da, da. I wasn't per se asking him for money, but I was just like asking like, do you know any opportunities? Like, you know, like you do film, like I do too, like what's up? So I was just networking and um, he was like, oh, I hear that your daughter is on the street. Um, if you want extra money, go find her so I can interview her. So, I was like, so but she had already done a couple interviews with Mark Leda. So I'm not really understanding how the daughter came about this situation. I don't know. You let me know in the comments if you believe anything that she is saying. Like, you want me to recruit my own daughter? Like, die, creep. This is already bad enough that she's ran away. So if I find her, I'm not going to bring her to you. So I was like, and you better not interview her. So that's why it's so crazy how he interviewed her. Because he told me on that phone call, like, oh, no, I wouldn't um, put out anything without your consent. He goes, oh, no, I wouldn't put out anything without your consent. That was the key word, consent, because he knew he was going to try to get a hold of my daughter. But, um, and, you know. That would be easy, you know, for him to find her because it's prostitutes and people that he worked with that recruit other girls. So they could just go find her like, oh, you want to have her interview? Da, da, da. So um, I just couldn't believe it. He ended up getting in touch with my daughter. I was on live one day. And so while on live on Instagram, somebody said in the comments like, oh, wait till your daughter dropped that soft white underbelly interview, though. So I'm thinking like, oh, 
one of her little friends is chiming in and they're popping it that she did the interview and I knew it. I knew that's why I told him don't interview her because why would you suggest me to find her just to give me some money? You should be just on GP. Oh, this is a girl. You know, you care about it so much, right? Like you have all these GoFundMe's and all these things going on, whatever the case may be. But like, you know, my daughter is really, really young and this is out of the norm. And here you go, interviewing her. But it gets worse. <laughs> what is out of the norm? Y'all let me know. I, and it, to me, this is a very hard review to do because I feel like there's a disconnection between her and the situation that's going on. It could just be me thinking that way. I mean, let me know the, your thoughts in the comments. Crazy, right? So it gets worse because when I seen that comment on my live, I started saying, oh, if he put out a video of her, he's going to get sued. Next thing you know, he's texting me the next morning. Hey, Tania, I want to do a follow-up video. So that's how I ended up doing my follow-up video. But then he flips the script and he's then going to say, um, but we're going to put out the follow-up video, but then we're going to also put out your daughter's video too. I said, yeah, um, I heard that you interviewed her. Oh, yeah, but I'm not going to put it out. And I paid her a lot of money. I'm like, I bet you did. So I said, but I thought, if I remember correctly, there was a screenshot somewhere or something to that effect that said that um, he was planning to drop this. Like she was aware of this interview dropping. Well, if you're aware, then how is the consent working? And are you able to give consent given that, you know, the daughter disclosed that mom wasn't having any kind of rights over her? Let me just think about that. So two weeks went by and I really be waiting. I'll be making people wait. Like I don't make decisions real fast no more because I used to do that and it didn't work. I'm like, okay, let me wait. He ended up hitting me up again. Are you still interested? Are you still interested? I didn't say nothing. He hit me up again. Are you interested? I said, you know what? Yeah, because it was so much going on with my daughter. She was on live, popping practices. She was just like, really just going ham like how she does. Like she slowed down a little bit and she started posting online crazy stuff again. So I'm just like, um, you know what? I'm going to sign off that interview so that people could see that she got interviewed at 13 years old by this man, period, point blank. And I need her to see Look what you did. And no shame in your game because you did it. But this is why you have to be careful because now he has a digital imprint of you talking about. Hold up. Let's go back a little bit. She said, hold up. I'm going to sign off. Hold up. She said, because I used to do that and it didn't work. Let's start from there. I'm like, I bet you did. So I said, let me just think about that. So two weeks went by and I really be waiting. I'll be making people wait. Like I don't make decisions real fast no more because I used to do that and it didn't work. I'm like, OK, let me wait. He ended up hitting me up again. Are you still interested? Are you still interested? I didn't say nothing. He hit me up again. Are you interested? So this is Mark Leda calling her, asking her, are you still interested? Are you still interested? Interested? I said, you know what? Yeah, because it was so much going on with my daughter. Mm -hmm. She was on live, popping Percocets. She was just like really just going ham like how she does. Like she slowed down a little bit and she started posting online crazy stuff again. So I'm just like, um, you know what? I'm going to sign off that interview so that people could see that she got interviewed at 13 years old by this man, period, point blank. And I need her to see, look what you did. And no shame in your game because you did it, but this is why you have to be careful because now he has a digital imprint of you talking about being 13 on the blade. And okay, so she signed off on the interview to, to what exactly? Who, who was supposed to learn this lesson? Was was a Mark Lita or the 13-year-old daughter, who, by the way, is 14, my understanding? I hate it, right? This is where it gets worse. My daughter right now is incarcerated, so let me just speed it up. She's incarcerated. She's in jail. And basically, <laughs> she called me, and I'm like, oh, babe, the soft white underbelly video is out. She's like, mom, what? I'm like, yeah. She's like, so you gave consent to him? I said, yeah, you did the video. She's like, so you gave him consent? I'm like, yeah. She's like, did you see it? I said, yep. Mind you, I didn't even see it yet. I didn't even see it yet because when I signed it off and I did my follow-up video, I didn't even look at hers because I didn't want to get heartbroken. I've been going through this for a little minute now and I couldn't do it. I cannot. <laughs> so she didn't see it. She didn't see it, but she said, uh, did you just, she's telling the daughter on the phone. She's telling Nova. Um, yeah, this interview happened. Did you see it? Mind you, I hadn't really seen it, but she told Nova that she did see it. I really, really think that she's getting dragged on the Internet and this is her like response to this. And I'm slowing it down and I'm not even going to edit my reaction. I'm just 
having the reaction this way because I I'm having to go back to understand what she's saying. She's going, you know, explaining a lot of things, right? So when I seen it online, I'm like, no, he didn't let her get interviewed in that bra like that. I was just so disturbed. I couldn't even look because I don't see her like that. You know, when she's on fig, I don't see her. I see what she posts online and I barely see it because I don't want to look. In when she's on fig, like Figueroa? I'm just making another missing report. But it was heartbreaking. And so um, my daughter then goes, listen to this part, you guys. My daughter then goes, mom, I was lying in that interview. I lied so much about you, mom. I'm like, oh. Mm -hmm. She said, I lied so much about you, mom. And I said, girl, why was you lying? Because I know that she lies. But I'm like, why was you lying? Because I didn't want to show no emotion of being mad because then she was going to shut down. You know how kids are. They don't express themselves when you're mad now. So I'm just keeping it cool. So I'm like, girl, I'm like, yeah, that's why the internet is going crazy, you know, on me because of the things that you do, girl. You just be lying. I know. I know. She like, and mom, guess what? Listen to this. And he gave me 300, but he gave me 200 more because he told me if I want more, wear something more revealing. So that's why she wore that top, his request. He gave her more. So at the end of the day, they're saying I need to be in jail. What? I wasn't there. And if I wouldn't have gave consent, nobody wouldn't have known that he recorded my daughter. So she gave consent, but didn't give consent? <laughs> point blank. It would have been in the archives. So mm -hmm. people saying, oh, but you know, you could sue him. You could still sue. What was you doing? interviewing a young girl without her parent with her nipple showing then took it off youtube put it back up blurred it out just so sloppy so you when and so when did she see the interview because he blurred it at some point i've been doing a lot of research which i should have done child ain't nobody about to do no experiment on me or my daughter in jesus name period i speak into the universe I'm very powerful, okay? This is interesting. She said, ain't nobody about to do an experiment on me and my child. Experiment. Mark laid a soft white underbelly experiment. Hmm. Case subjects, case studies, experiment. It's an interesting word to use, right? I am, and my daughter is not about to be in you guys' cults. Mm. It's not going to happen like that. Cult. Now, I thought that maybe, you know, you can recommend some help because people be having resources. You interview all these people. You have all these subscribers. I mean, duh. I'm the one that's more, like, skeptical on is it going to work or is it going to make my baby worse? Because it's my baby at the end of the day. It's my child. I'm the mama. And I said what I said. Period. So, you know, y'all get on my nerves. Um, if you guys have any legal advice, if you guys have any pointers or whatever, because I know y'all like to chew me out, but there is people out there that, you know, wants to help and really understands what I'm what I'm going through, really understands what I'm going through. It's somebody out there that really understands what I'm going through, man. And somebody who, you know, is not really judging me. I'm a young mom. I love my child. This is a hard one, right? Because you don't want, like, for me, I don't like parent shaming, especially online. You know, this is a hard age for Nova. Um, you know, I would be lying if I said some of us don't go through it, right, with your teenagers acting out or doing the most or out of control. So I feel for her in that sense. But I also feel like part of me says, like, okay, like, what are you? doing about it she says she filed police reports so she gave consent or didn't give consent we'll go back a little bit to that part um i'm not wanting to edit this reaction i'm just gonna have it in real time and upload it so you go see the mistakes and everything <laughs> as you see it um because it's just a raw reaction and i figured that some of you guys would have wanted that too um but yeah whatever i'm doing i do not recommend for her to do she's not supposed to be doing that does she lie? Yes, she do. Do I chew her out? No, I don't. You know, I just had a video call with her. We just had court today. She's supposed to get released tomorrow. All of these things. It's so many things, you guys. It's so, so, so many things. And I'm like, when she gets released, then what? I'm still going to do my channel. I'm still going to focus on all of my kids. I'm still going to be the mother that I am. I'm still going to be the boss that I am. I'm still going to be beautiful. And I'm still going to be a child of God, period. But um, yeah, I just want to clear that up. But you know what? 
soft light underbelly, y'all, mm -mm, we are onto something because this ain't right. Y'all just got me plastered everywhere. I see me on blogs. Y'all be chopping me up. Y'all try to make me defamation of character. I am stressed out, period, because of this situation. And I need legal freaking help. I love y'all. I'll see y'all in the next video. Bye. What do you guys think? Let's go back a little bit, okay? Because I really want to understand. And I might actually go directly to the video so I can pull the transcript and understand exactly what the hell she's talking about and what she's saying, okay? Um, so I'm going straight to the YouTube video and I'm gonna try to see if I can pull it. So in the transcript, it says, hey y'all, real quick, I want to address something. My name is Tania and I did a soft white underbelly video. It went viral and it kind of went viral because a lot of people didn't know that that was my get down like that's what i did you know like that i went through those things in my life so meanwhile in that time my daughter was 13 years old and she was running away at the time and she is a chronic runaway or a chronic runaway so while being runaway she started to see my videos circulate and she decided that she wanted to get a video done herself so she then got into the arms of mark and this is crazy my because my intuition was already saying like my daughter is going to do my daughter is going to want to do this because i was seeing you know the patterns of her and what she was doing and just running away and all that stuff and she ended up on Figueroa Street. So everybody knows that's my daughter. Was prostituted. Nobody likes it. I don't like it. And the internet hates it. So at the 52nd mark, or at the 50, yeah, 52nd minute, 52nd mark, excuse me. That's where she talks about her daughter um, and the prostitution. What I would, I just want. Tanea to know that this is not this her daughter's a victim. This is this is a victim. Okay? She doesn't have a choice. <sighs> I, I can't. So figure out street. So everybody knows that's my daughter. This is where she gets in there. My daughter was prostituting. Nobody likes it. I don't like it. The internet hates it. We all think that it's so creepy that Mark decided to interview her and without my consent. So people are thinking like she says right here. It's so creepy that Mark decided to interview her and without my consent. I stopped it right there. It says it on the closed caption and without my consent. So people thinking she keeps going like how is the video out? How is the video out? FYI, disclaimer, I was not there. I was not present when my daughter did the video. So okay. since we know that, we could go to the next thing. So remember, my intuition was itching, like, let me just let Mark know not to interview her. Because I had called him one time just out the blue. And I was like, yeah, Mark, you know, I'm looking for extra money. Da, da, da. I wasn't per se asking him for money. But I was just, like, asking, like, do you know any opportunities? Like, you know, like, you do film. Like, I do too. Like, what's up? So I was just networking. And um, he was like, oh, I hear that your daughter is on the street. Um, if you want extra money, go find her so I can interview her. So How did he hear that her daughter was in the street? Unless she self-disclosed that. I was like, you want me to recruit my own daughter? Like, guy, creep. This is already bad. So she said, you want me to recruit my own daughter? Creep. This is already bad enough that she's ran away so if i find her i'm not gonna bring her to you so i was like and you better not interview her so that's why it's so crazy how he interviewed her because he told me on that phone call like oh no i wouldn't um put out anything without your consent he goes oh no i wouldn't put anything out without your consent that is what she's saying that he told her oh no i wouldn't put out anything without your consent that was the key word, consent, because he knew he was going to try to get a hold of my daughter. But, um, and, you know, 
that would be easy, you know, for him to find her because it's prostitutes and people that he worked with that recruit other girls. So mm-hmm. they could just go find her like, oh, you want to have an interview? Da, da, da. So um, I just couldn't believe it. He ended up getting in touch with my daughter. I was on live one day. And so while on live on Instagram, somebody said in the comments like, oh, wait till your daughter dropped that soft white underbelly interview, though. So I'm thinking like, oh, one of her little friends is chiming in and they're popping it that she did the interview. And wait, see, this is where I get lost. Hold up. And and let's go ahead and find this information now while I'm in the middle of the soft white underbelly, because I could have sworn that he said, I'm pretty sure mom knew. Now, I don't want to put my money on it, but I'm pretty sure mom knew that her daughter was going to that this interview would drop soft white underbelly. Hold up, because I, I do remember that being a thing because there was a follow up. Yep. So let me show you guys what I'm seeing. OK. If you go to the. Um, December 8th, this is the interview, uh, Tanea follow up. It says soft white underbelly interview portrait of Tanea, the mother of Noba posted yesterday. So that was December 8th. He had posted Noba's interview on the 7th, a teenage, a teenage runaway in South Central LA. Now, of course, it's not giving context. It's not giving whether she knew or what, but this is where I was like, well, he posted it on the description box of your video that he was going to drop a video. I knew it. I knew that's why I told him don't interview her, because why would you suggest me to find her just to give me some money? You should be just on GP. Oh, this is a girl. You know, you care about it so much, right? Like you have all these GoFundMe's and all these things going on, whatever the case may be. But like, you know, my daughter is really, really young and this is out of the norm. And here you go interviewing her. But it gets worse. (laughs) Crazy, right? So it gets worse because when I seen that comment on my live, I started saying, oh, if he put out a video of her, he's going to get sued. Next thing you know, he's texting me the next morning. Hey, Tania, I want to do a follow-up video. So that's how I ended up doing my follow-up video. But then he flips the script and he's then going to say, but... We're going to put out the follow-up video, but then we're going to also put out your daughter's video, too. I said, yeah, um, I heard that you interviewed her. Oh, yeah, but I'm not going to put it out. And I paid her a lot of money. I'm like, I bet you did. So I said, let me just think about that. So two weeks went by. And I really be waiting. I be making people wait. Like, I don't make decisions real fast no more because I used to do that and it didn't work. I'm like, okay, let me wait. He ended up hitting me up again. Are you still interested? Are you still interested? I didn't say nothing. He hit me up again. Are you interested? I said, you know what? Yeah, because it was so much going on with my daughter. She was on live popping Percocets. She was just like really just going ham like how she does. Like she slowed down a little bit and she started posting online crazy stuff again. So I'm just like, "Um, you know what? I'm going to sign off that interview so that people could see that she got interviewed at 13 years old by this. So she did consent. I don't know how she could, given that Nova said that mom doesn't have any parental anything going on for her. So she consented for her daughter to be interviewed by Soft White Underbelly because in her thought, she said, well, you know, people can see that she got interviewed at 13 by this man. By this man. Period, point blank. By this man, period, point blank. I need her to see. Look what you did. And no shame in your game. Look what you did. No. <laughs> no, 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 no. But hey, all right. Okay. Because you did it. But this is why you have to be careful because now he has a digital imprint of you talking about being 13 on the blade. And I. All right. Hate it, right? Mm. This is where it gets worse. My daughter right now is incarcerated, so let me just speed it up. She's incarcerated. She's in jail. And basically, <laughs> she called me, and I'm like, oh, babe, the soft white underbelly video is out. She's like, mom, what? I'm like, yeah. She's like, 
so you gave consent to him? I said, yeah, you did the video. She like, so you gave him consent? I'm like, yeah. She like, did you see it? I said, yep. Mind you, I didn't even see it yet. So she hadn't seen the video yet. That's interesting. Y'all believe that? I don't, I don't believe this woman. I'm just going to say that. And this is, I'm just, I don't believe that she did not know. Okay. I didn't even see it yet because when I signed it off and I did my follow up video. So she signed off without watching the video that her daughter did. Okay. I didn't even look at hers because I didn't want to get heartbroken. I've been going through this for a little minute now and I couldn't do it. So when I seen it online, I'm like, no, he didn't let her get interviewed in that bra like that. I was just so disturbed. I couldn't even look because I don't see her like that. You know, when she's on fig, I don't see her. I see what she posts online and I barely see it because. I so she's on. <laughs> this is not a good video, but OK. I don't want to look and I'll just make another missing report. But it was heartbreaking. And so um, my daughter then goes, listen to this part, you guys. My daughter then goes, mom, I was lying in that interview. She posts a picture up of her daughter when she's crying. I'm assuming this is where she's at in juvie. Mom's got a safe face. Tanea says, I was lying in that video, in that interview. Lying about what? Lying about you? I lied so much about you, mom. Mm, no, no, no. I'm like, oh. She said, I lied so much about you, mom. And I said, girl, why was you lying? Because I know that she lies. But I'm like, why was you lying? Because I didn't want to show no emotion of being mad because then she was going to shut down. You know how kids are. They don't express themselves when you're mad now. So I'm just keeping it cool. So I'm like, girl... I'm like, yeah, that's why the internet is going crazy, you know, on me because of the things that you do, girl. You just be lying. I know, I know. She like, and mom, guess what? Listen to this. And he gave me 300, but he gave me 200 more because he told me if I want more, wear something more revealing. So that's why she wore that top. But you consented to the interview without having watched it, right? Because my heart was, I get it, your heart was broken. His request. He gave her more. I can't. So at the end of the day, they're saying, I need to be in jail. What? I wasn't there. And if I wouldn't have gave consent, nobody wouldn't have known that he recorded my daughter. Period, point blank. It would have been in the archives. So people saying, oh, but you know, you could sue him. You could still sue. What was you doing? Interviewing a young girl without her parent with her nipples showing, then took it off YouTube, put it back up, blurred it out. Just why were you consenting? That's another point too. Like to me, it's like, I don't know you guys, I'm trying to be like, I'm trying to be understanding of the situation and please note I am. Um, but this is what she's saying. Now, Mark is not having given a statement um, at this point, to me, these both her and Mark are no better, right? Mark very well knows how to upload a video, knows what to do. You know, he's a photographer, can key into certain details about things. He knows what he's doing, right? So he is no um, without guilt in this situation, okay? Very much so. But mom is definitely with guilt here as well. And I feel like the only reason why she's saying anything right now is because the internet is dragging her. That's why. It's because the people are dragging her. That's why. Um, that's just my thought on it. I wanted to bring this. And, I mean, let me know your guys' thoughts on it. It's just sad. You know, shame on her and shame on Soft White Underbelly. Both of them. I don't know. I'll see you guys on the next one. Rabbit's out.